it's that far behind. Oh, maybe it'll catch up. You guys live? Yeah, we are. Dominion. Well, that second coon was quite a smaller. Yeah, it was. Oh. What's up, Trapper Bob? How's everyone doing? On a good Friday night. Dominion, I see you made it through uh, your and Jay's live together. Just barely. The boys wanted me to come on alive with them tonight. Mom, how are you? You want to tell everybody how, how your year's going so far? You just started a couple of days ago. Yeah, we started a couple of days ago, and we've caught in, well, yesterday we caught one possum and one coon, so it started out slow. And then today, after we moved them, we caught... What did you catch the first day? The very first day? A coon and a possum, right? Yeah. So the first day we caught a coon and a possum, and then the second day, we caught one coon. That's it. And then today, we pulled them and moved them somewhere else. And tomorrow, we'll, we'll check them. Yeah. And that'll be in a different video. And then today, we yeah, we caught a possum today. Yeah. What's up, Iowa? Iowa, oh my goodness. It's him. Don't mind the glare. What's up, Jeff? Jeff, how are you? Uh, we're running a dozen dog proof traps a piece right now. So we got two dozen in the front of the house. Just make it somewhat easy. Yeah. We got more than that, but and we don't I did, put all of them right now. Hey, Dad, I know how to um, put a cable on a log now. Good deal. Papa showed me. On, them, on them cables I made you? And I put yeah. it on a bigger log so it won't pull it through a trail. Mom, what's up? Ah, well, why are the coons moving so, so little? Slow. So slow. Dominion, you been catching any coons or Jeff? Raccoons? So what have y'all been using? Bait? You tried pogos for the first time today? Yeah. Yep, yeah, it went good. For bait, I'm just using cat food and sardine juice. And I use some cat food and salmon oil. And then I used some of Papa's bait, which is, um, which was in a video. It was cat food with sardines, juice, and then he cut up, I think, some sardines and put a couple chunks in there. You were a little more fishy smell? Yeah, I used it by some ponds. And some in the woods, but not too many. So I will you think it's the moon probably. Tonight's the first night here we actually got a pretty decent breeze too. I know when I used to run coon hounds, I noticed it seemed like we would treat more coons when there was always a little bit more of a breeze. Really? A still night. It, we, it seemed like we never treat as many coons.
just because of the sun, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it, it is seems pretty like weird. When, the more, when there's more light, like when there's more moonlight, seems like we don't catch near as much. Yeah. I think so they just don't, yeah, I don't think they like moving and eating and all that, or evening thing or whatever they do. I don't think they like it, like, bright. Uh, I think they like it dark and see so. Right. Uh, they can get spotted. Jeff, how was your line today? In Dominion? We moved the boat. I told the boys we just moved the live upstairs because we got the wood stove going. Yeah, we cut yeah. some wood today. We got the wood stove going, and mom's decorating for Christmas, so she's got a bunch of stuff on our table down there. Yeah, Dominion, that always sucks when you walk up to a trap like that. Cool, you had a bobcat yesterday? Yeah, that's cool. We got a. Your season don't roll until on bobcats until when? December? Yeah, we did get a yes. nice cat today. Mom showed us that. I yeah. Was, was, look, they were cutting wood. Looks like it had December, what did I say? Yeah. December 1st? So wait till later, December to harvest. Yeah, so you don't want no cats in there until December. Last year I realized at least nine. Nine, wow. Nine cats. A lot of rabbit seeds because you get them. Or could you? Jeff, are you still in here? I was just saying how your line went. Because if I remember right, you was running quite a few. Uh, Quite a bit of a water line, wasn't you? I was that in a snare or 220? It looks like a 220. Was it? On the picture. I was going to say it was a snare. I didn't see the trap. So y'all went and checked traps today with Paul Paul, and yeah. then we cut a big load of wood. Tra yeah. trailer load of wood. And a stacker. You have a yeah. stacker. I'm Burn the, off a little bit of energy. I'm the packer. The packer? Yes, I pack wood from the woods to the splitter, then from the splitter to the trailer. Normally, sometimes. You can talk louder with a little more. Enthusiastic, yeah. Be a more, a little more <laughs> enthusiastic. Enthusiastic. There you go. That's some fancy Iowa words. I think Iowa or Jeff is in here in a minute. I think they. Well, I was just on the road there. You got a cat, I believe. Yeah. I were you out there skinning uh, raccoons? Oh, I went outdoor family. What's up? We caught a um, 15 pound coon. When was that? Yesterday or was that today? First day. Oh no, it was the first day. It was 15 yeah, it was pounds. Yeah, 15 pounder. Iowa outdoor family, how's uh, your trapping line been going this year so far? Oh, he's back. He's fresh. Yeah. Like, probably the main, I guess, again. Yeah. Yeah, well, they moved all their, not all their traps, but what they had set out down along. We moved all a, of them, didn't we? Yeah, no, we, we had set out. That you had set out, oh, you moved. Yeah, yeah. 
and they moved them down. It kind of rolls off a big old monster bluff down into the river, which is super, super low. They moved them down there. Good denning area, and then up on top, it's it shells corn. Mm -hmm. So. We it, went pretty far down there, too. Went pretty far. If, if we catch two coons tomorrow, nice fluffy coons tomorrow, it'll be worth it. Because that pipe was a yeah. pattern. That's down off in there, isn't it? Uh -huh. Yeah, if y'all see the video, if you've watched it yet, it's, it's steep. We'll probably have to have binoculars to check them. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Papa told us he's gonna bring binoculars tomorrow to check him if we can see him. Not too much. We'll just have to walk like probably 20, 25 yards down there with all the brush. Oh no, there was one set I really am confident about. The one in the corner where we always catch coos? Yeah, I yeah. put two up there. Our, our outdoor family, that's kind of what we're doing. The kids are, the kids are out of school. Baby. That's for Thanksgiving. Eat one of them. And Jeff, you're doing good, aren't you? Yeah, I'm just our Thanksgiving yep. break. Mr. We got two coons out of our hundred that we want this season. Yeah, we got still ninety-eight to go. Yep, ninety-eight. Which but two is closer to, to 100 than zero. So. Yeah. Hopefully tomorrow we put. Get That'd be nice if we catch three or four. At least three. Hopefully tomorrow we catch three or four. I'll us a lot. Imagine when you have like 23, 22. That'd be crazy. Yeah, it would be crazy. Look at the winter wonderland up there on the top. Your mom's got my trap covered up. Yep. See the big bear trap. That's not completely covered up here. Yeah. That's an old one. That's an old Ida new house. Where did you even get that? Did you get off the of mine? No. Yeah. Guy from Michigan. Oh, I thought you went in the store and bought it. That one antique store. No, that was a. Uh, uh, I don't know. I had to watch that Iowa outdoor family. Yeah. I've been trying to keep track of those videos on the ITA page, but. What was, I don't know, the, the, what do you think the biggest coon I've ever caught? Biggest coon you've ever caught? I know the biggest coon I've caught was 20, 20.8, I think was the biggest coon I've caught. That's kind of a neat thing that you guys have done up there in Iowa for the, the, I, or the, um, what's it called? Iowa Trappers Association well, with well, the YouTube page. Oh, bud. He said, Iowa Outdoor Family said, are you honor honoring you your skinning skills? Honoring your skinning or, skills. Yeah. Yep, yeah, trying to, aren't you? Yeah. I think if it's, if it's over 15 pounds, I think you think you should, you should skin it. Yeah. yeah. Do you think if they're 15 pounds tomorrow? Uh, he can learn to not a skin one. He can hone up his skin skills. skills. No, but if there's one up tomorrow over 15 pounds, you need to keep it. I try to skin this, huh? Are you telling Lizzie? Um, I'm, I'm feeling pretty yeah. confident. I'm about, feeling pretty good about tomorrow at least. Yeah. I feel like we'll put. How many did you all put out today? Two we dozen. finished, yeah. We took the traps we already had out and put, just moved them. And like Dad said earlier, if y'all weren't in. Did it show my spray tan? 
I just see a glare. Man, I don't, yeah, I don't, just a glare, no spray tan. Just a glare off your big shiny head. Oh, glare, my spray tan forehead, isn't it? Yeah. Nothing wrong with shuffling. Where's time to go? You can't be farting during the line, be stinking oh. the sound. That was the skunk I caught today. No skunks. Oh. Can we skin skunks? I don't care. Okay. In your shop? No, outside. I don't know. Electric pole. <laughs> I'll skin a skunk. Give a call, you would die. Alright, get up, you'll be standing like this. Yeah. I could, oh, I mean, heck, I could probably skin this skin. Without oh, it thinks. my breath. It thinks. Skunks don't bother me that bad. Skunks don't have that bad of a smell. Love the smell of skunks. Oh. I wouldn't say I love the smell, I just. Love a 15 year <laughs> Nice to catch a big Ow. white back skunk. That'd be one No, we haven't even started. Yeah, Jeff, they'll just be green. Yeah. Maybe we could next. We don't have the stuff to flush. Because they can go too. We can sell them. I'm not, getting in, I'm not getting into flushing and drying. You guys can. And how do you do that? Put it, you flush it and then put it on a board and then let it dry. Essentially. Was it harder than that? You seen I would do it enough. Yeah. And I watch. I learned. From, I actually learned from next gen. From next gen. Yeah, his his fur process videos. I'm gonna try. I was on too. I've watched both. Yeah. Kind of just to get a rough idea how to do it. We're just kind of small scale. We just do it for fun. Yeah. yeah, I'm trying to get all the population down. Try to knock a little population down. Can't get that out of Ross County, so that'd be tough. I'd go up there to Iowa so I'd kick him in the rear end. <laughs> So what did, what did you think of um, pogos? Um, way better than steaks. That's all I'm gonna say. Well, yeah, they're they're a little easier than steaks to try. I, mean, I like table. I don't know about falling in love. Ow. Now that you got you built the pogo to the puller, it's I don't know. I've never seen it work. I like cable restraints more, or whatever they're called. Cable restraints. Or in a hot pack. They're yeah, like cables. cables, yeah, you put the it on a tree. Yeah, I love those. I love them. Though. So, Dominion, you can't keep skunks until the 1st of December either. That's stupid. So, Dominion, what can you keep, what can you keep right now? Where's she live? Oh, Oklahoma. Yeah. I think that's right. Pretty positive Oklahoma. Take my sock off. Take your sock off, we'll have your brother's stinking butt and your stinking feet. Well, my, my feet. And the long socks. Bushman, what's up? It's your, Our season's going pretty good. Yeah, it's good up so I can see. Can you get in here, Cole? I can read off there, see. Um, I don't know, I have a problem, probably, I guess, I mean, I don't want to, but. We don't really know. Our outdoor family, if Thanks he paid in cash, it wouldn't be, would be all, all under the table, you'd be alright.
Now's the time though if you are wanting to learn to skin. Is right now? Yeah. If you're learning to skin, learning to flesh. Yeah. I mean now's the time to to try it. Oh yeah. you're not ruining it. I'd like to try it maybe hard. tomorrow. If And Reese's. Well, I wouldn't be working for you then. Paul well, Daryl would work, wouldn't he? Yeah. He loves Reese's. Reese's are good. Especially the pumpkins and the footballs. Well, I'm allergic to peanut butter, so I can't eat Reese's. That's the most worst allergy I feel like. That's definitely the worst allergy. That's probably the best thing ever. All right, we'll do. See, I will. Um, What's he gonna do? Go sit on the couch? No, he's probably gonna go work in the shop. You go work in the shop? Yeah. So you gonna get in there? Or you just gonna kick back and relax? Well. I didn't want to get on you. Dad, your big head's in the way. I can't see. Well, my head ain't in the way. Well, he's in here. It's just... It's too cold. You can't see cold? Jeff, you got all your stuff sold, or you just wait and sell all at one time? How'd you do it when you were a kid? Uh, I just waited and sold all at one time. But they was always green. Roll them up and just put them in the freezer. But we had to drive over to, over in Illinois at the time. <gasps> that was the closest buyer. Really? I'm getting tired. Tired? Tired. Did they work like that? It's my bedtime. Yeah. No, he hardly worked. He didn't work hard. He hardly worked. I touched every piece in the thing. I doubt you didn't. Okay, 95% of the wood I touch. That's a 70. All right, ladies. <laughs> Stay on task. You don't sell the fur power door auctions. Oh, that's probably a good idea. Who's he sell to then, I wonder? Jeff, you do garments? So what do you boys like? Um, I'm ready for tomorrow to see what we got. Like Christmas morning? Yeah, kind of. Except no presents. I don't blame you, Jeff. That's kind of a that's kind of neat. But once you get them tanned, it'd be kind of hard for me to let go of some of them. I'd have our house wallpapered with fur. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we kind of do now. Between deer heads and bobcats and otters and... Well, we got three animals down in the hallway. And then yeah, we got a coyote that came off the farm. We got a red fox that... I got for Christmas. Same good bushy tail. And then... I got for Christmas. We... Otter cat, what's up? What's up, Oreo man? Party trappers. <laughs> Oreo man. Party trappers. Tra tra no, you're Oreo man. I'm not. Otter cat, the story on those painted traps is they'd always argue over whose traps was whose. And I said, just pick a color and paint them. So that way there's no arguing over who caught what. Because two brothers, you know, they got to 
compete against each other. And that's good. A little competition never hurts. But who catches more coons? Oh, you like the painted traps, Otter? Yeah. And on private ground, they're real easy to find, too. Yeah, because yeah, I could see mine for like a mile away. Yours get it out in the wide open cold, but mine are better out in the woods, I think. Yeah. Yeah, Dominion competition, especially between two brothers. Let's uh, see who's the grittiest. Who's uh, got to drive, like Iowa says. Yeah, I always catch more possums. Colt catches more coons. Thanks for admitting that. It's true. Well, I'd be lying if I said it wasn't. Yep, that's right. I got one sibling, a uh, sister four years younger than me, so it was me kind of out just running the neighbor's farms that I had permission on when I was younger and making my own entertainment. Did you ever trap them? Oh, yeah. Did you tie up set? No, no, I, I'm, just, you know, when I was 11, 12, 13, 14 years old. You focus on dog proofs back then? No, dog proofs back then would have been, really? would have been neat. What'd you use? Probably one and three quarters or one and a half, sketch pins. One and a half, live traps. Oh, yeah, probably, yeah, live traps. I like live traps. You got some more, nice one and a half now. I like live traps. They're awesome. You like yeah. them? Especially when the the holes in it are that big where you just stick your gun through it easily. Or if you're wanting to relocate it, they're right. easy. Yep, to Mom, you did. Coons were good enough then. How many times did we stop on the road and pick up a, coon, a dead coon? Pick up a dead coon. And I'd get out and get it real quick and put it in the trunk of the car. And when we got back home, I'd skin, I'd skin them with my mom. Some of them were, uh, the hide was all good, but. They stunk. Yeah, they were. Stiff. They were internally wrecked. Oh. So, so it was, they were, they were kind of tough. To, they were a little tougher to skin. But I'm not old enough to remember the, you know, the, the big fur boom. I mean, my highest coon I saw was 30 bucks. Yeah, they got a couple of live traps, otter cat that- uh, I have one, that's really nice. Actually, my mom's cousin Boing. got a patent on a guillotine style door live trap. They're nice, I've tried And them. they're heavy built, they, they'll last you a lifetime. Yeah, I could stand on it. Yeah, they are I've super them. nice traps. In mine, I've caught two coons and like four possums. We got a pretty good sized garden here in, here behind the house, so. Put that there. We usually have a live trap going, working for us. There all summer. Yep, mom, several. I tried that, I trap that outdoors. What's going on? You deer hunting tomorrow, I guess? You got any deer picked out you'd like to shoot? Or are you just filling the freezer? I was filling the freezer. Maybe. These boys, they pick out bucks. And then okay. me and my dad, we, uh, we just got to where we just what if you see a shoot, shoot those for me. But if you see a 200 inch deer, I see. 
I'm with you, Dominion. That's what I am. Honestly, Dominion, I'd like for people just to stop by and open the shop door and throw eight or nine, ten does in there. And I wouldn't even hunt. <laughs> as soon as you pull the trigger, the work begins. Yeah, no kidding. We got a pretty good system of scanning those, man. We scanned mine, and then it's, it's raining outside. We're sprinkling when we field dressed it. So it made it we're blessed enough we hunt right here on the farm that we live on but a lot of times we got to where we don't even feel dressed deer now we bring them in the shop within probably 30 or 35 minutes after shooting them yeah and I hoist them up and jerk the hide off of them, back straps, front shoulders, hind quarters, and I can reach in there now and I figured out how to get the, uh, I call them inner loins out without anything. Everything's nice and clean. And when we're putting the meat in the cooler, a lot of times it's still steaming, isn't it? Yeah. Getting them cooled down quick is definitely the key to good meat. I bet you did, Jeff. I think if the story, if I remember it right, mom, you can correct me, but I think in 79 or 80, 79, didn't dad, he picked up a fresh coon hit plowing snow. And I think he made more money off that coon than he did plowing snow that night. Oh yeah, I think, yeah, really? Papa's told me about that before. Like it was 79. I don't know, Mom. You correct me. You're in there. Then he did working all night. Wow. 79. Yeah, that would have been like the first year he started. Almost been a, like a $40 coon. Yeah, I don't know. That's a nice one. Jeff, I like going through like some of the old, uh, well, I had some up here, some old magazines, especially back in the 30s, some in the 40s. What'd they do? I think he took them downstairs. Remember when we took all the calculations for today's money, for what money was worth then? Yeah. You know, we did that just for a fun time one time and i mean if that's the case what they was getting for them then you know i mean a coyote what i don't remember what it was it was a coyote roughly would have been about 1100 bucks now wasn't it mm -hmm. 1980 made enough to take you out for your first anniversary Do you remember where you went? Get in there, kinky top. I'm not. Yeah, Dominion, I could go on about that, but I'll just, I'll pass. Seems like it, inflation's really went up just the last couple of years. Yeah, I did that. We looked it up to see what a what a dollar, and I don't remember what it was, 1940 to what it was uh, now. 
and we looked at prices. Right. And it, it was crazy money if, if things still... What am I trying to say? If things was comparable. That's about the story. I can't believe, Mama, you don't yeah. remember. That's about the story, the story she's ever told. Our outdoor family, have a have a good evening. Yeah. So thirty six minutes. Hello, a lot. Otter cat, I believe that. My dad always told me that I was born about 50 years too late. Vicki, how are you? Having a good evening? What's your plans for a little later on on trapping here in a week or two? Um, well, Christmas break is coming up here soon, so we'll probably trap really hard through Christmas break. It would be nice. I'd like to climb our trap line tomorrow just to see if we if it would be possible to run before school. Wow, I made 50 cents. A week in 1943. He said a week? Is that good back then? I, I'm saying that's... Yeah, I don't I don't know what the typical, the average pay for somebody in the... Was it here in the Midwest, Jeff? Around where you're at now? But yeah, Dad, he, he'd always tell me that I was 14 going on 40 or something, you know. Yeah, and you all will probably stay down at yeah. Nanny and Papa's. Yeah, for a couple of days. That'll help us. The farm's always good. Bishman, our weather so far has been, it's been uh, pretty good. Last couple of weeks, it's been 65 and into the 70s for the high. Plenty warm. <sighs> and then here the last few days, it's, it's finally cooled off a little bit. Making for mentally a little better trapping weather yeah tomorrow's supposed to be cold though yeah i'm wearing extra stuff tomorrow clay county is that down close to the missouri river You got snow coming up in Michigan. Well, you can keep the snow up there. We'll just take the cooler weather. Yeah. We're still super dry. Our ponds are really low, too. Yeah, if you've seen the boys' video. I mean, you would think that there'd be coon tracks all over around that pond. But it's right next to about 45 acre cornfield. And there was 
not very many coon tracks at all, was I there? I think we saw two. Two? Yeah. I don't know if we really truly have the coon population that I might have thought we would. Yeah. I think we've got the lousy coon. We know we're just out the smart one. Yeah, Otter Cat, I think we got like four tenths out of that. Yeah, Jeff, we might go down, uh, down the road here. It's only a, there's a little bit of a decent creek. And maybe put in just some pocket sets or something, something like that. On the north side of the Missouri River. Gotcha. Jeff, we couldn't be too awful far from you. Of course, we're closer to the Mississippi than we are definitely by far than the Missouri. Yeah. The next one closest. Probably be Jefferson City, right? Be the closest place to get to Missouri. Probably so. How many sets do you have out Dominion right now? That that you'll check tomorrow. Adventure for James. Stop. Are you on break? <laughs> Are you off tonight? Seventy pounds. Oh, I stink. Set. Oh, he's north of Kansas City. So you're probably just due straight west of us then. Yeah. All the way across the state. You go one side to the other. Well, that's good, James. You got four days off. Yeah. En enjoy it. We got Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or today, Saturday. Sunday and Monday. Yep, Sunday and Monday. Because we got Thanksgiving break off. One, yeah, one thing I like about our school, we got those four day weeks, so we can trap. If we don't go right before school, we can trap an extra day. Yeah, on a Monday. But on a Monday. Last week and the week before last, we had to go some Mondays, but just so we can have built-in snow days. Yeah. And so last year we... And Thanksgiving, because you, you was off for now, and that was another reason to go on Mondays, wasn't it? No, we have short, we have shorter, shorter breaks now, just because we don't, so we can have Mondays off, but the Monday, the Mondays we go to school so we can have snow days built in, which is kind of, kind of silly because what happens like last year, we only had two snow days. I don't think we have eight built in. Or six, yeah, eight. And we only used two of them and we went so many extra Mondays that we didn't need to. 
James, I guess you're probably like me on a 12 hour schedule. That's what I work is a 12 hour schedule every other weekend. Nope, nope, Jip. Uh, we've never caught a mink. That would be cool to ca catch though. You were, can't it? Yeah. One, two, one, two, one, three. And then the opposite. Right. Well, boys, I'll let you finish up the live. Y'all okay. can do your lives. I'm glad you invited me. Yeah, nice talking to you. See you guys. Well, I, this goes over here. Get the chair up. Oh, what the heck? That chair goes right there in the middle. Yep. This one? Yeah, it does. And that one's Dad's. Close wrapping up the log, you think? Yeah. Well, and get a little bit done, so. Smell something? Darn sucks. Darn. Oh, I'm surprised it wasn't Oreos. It's not Oreos. Not a cat. On your thing. Every time it pops up, I smell it. It's not Oreos. I want some text. Some chat. Ten inches of snow. I went and I shut down my car. Wow. Ten, ten inches of snow. That is a lot of snow. That's a lot of snow. Guess being up north. Probably, it's probably not nothing compared to most snows they get up there. Ten, do you even know what 10 inches of snow looks like, Colt? A lot. I it's guess. Boring. Like the day he was born? Yeah. So What's up, PA? 10 inches like that much? <laughs> What's up, Wyatt? How's it going, PA? Yeah. Let me try some James's control line. Um, our line's going good, James. So um, we caught two coons mm -hmm. and two possums yeah, in three so. days. Terribly bad, but I mean, we've, we've done worse, we've done better. Yeah, we didn't get skunked in other days. Yep. So today we just got one possum and then yep. moved them to another place. And then we'll check out the Got 11 foot holes and 9 dog poops. What do you use for bait? I use cat. I use salmon oil and that sardines cat food, and then I use some just regular cat food mixed with salmon oil, and then I use the sardines stuff that I, I borrow from Papa.
Yeah, if you haven't watched our, our video yet, you have to watch that after the live. I'll have to show you guys this tree I saw today when we were setting up that high bank one. It's a tree of beavers uh -huh. chewed. I'm guessing it was chewed when I was young or it's just now healing from it or yeah, I'm gonna take more cards today. I'm tired. I'm not that tired. Well, actually, yeah, I'm a little bit tired. Getting up at seven, go check your traps, and then going to bed at seven. I, I stayed up way too late last night. Like one when I went to bed. No, you didn't want to get up to bed. I said, I ain't gonna feel if I do that. That's cool. Well, on that next gen t shirt, or next gen sent out. I like it. It's super comfortable. Mackerel, is that, that's fish, right? Mackerel? Never heard of that. Into. Yeah. I bet Coon Dog the Ark is fun to run. Yeah, that was on the farm. That might be. That was um, down there by, towards the end of the video, that, that set. There was a couple trees that looked like that, but that was the worst one. But, um, yeah, that was a... Old man and this guy over here was breathing heavy. Well, yeah, on the hill like that. I was walking dog. I walked the dog up that hill. Okay. Can't be a pansy. Don't don't even say I'm a pansy. <laughs> he likes wearing his hat like this. That's old videos, buddy. <laughs> Christmas tree today. Yeah. And she ain't money. And yeah. I'm tired because we all. Ow. Acting like brothers, I don't claim this guy. Yeah, you're probably right. I probably wouldn't oh, be. Probably. I'll be the one. I'll be the guinea pig to go down there. I bet. No, I will. Go check them. I will too. What about asking if you want to go back to the Well, binos. That's the way to do it. What happens when there's no bait in it? Oh, you there's no bait in it. I bet we have two fluffy coons there tomorrow. I'll carry the heaviest one, you carry the little one. Yep, that's cool, James. We got a big old load of firewood in the basement. Yeah. On our redneck trailer that we just back in our walk up, walk out door. Man, it's walk so up handy. Door. Walk up door. This back truck right down in the doors and. Um, Man, it's it, handy. put the little wheel thing, it's like a little circle, black, and then just lower that, like cranking it, it goes down, like, like this, crank it, goes down, push it, and you're good. And then yeah, just let, say they know how to just let it jack sit or? out that down there so you can dry, nice yep. and dry. We got trailers for our deer, we got trailers for our wood. Yeah, we know, you're smart. Got a unicorn, one, you Unicorn two. Oh. I look sleepy. 
Yeah. Look at you all. That's a, oh. We made a little Dollar or Dollar General yeah, Abel pit stop earlier. That was a little um, uncomfortable. Yeah, it, it, it was. Yesterday, uh, not yesterday, Wednesday, we worked on a, a skid steer log splitter. We moved the cylinder back to get more opening for the, In the, the split. video of us working around the farm, we talked about it, or he did, about the skid steer mount. I think that was totally different, but... It, I think it was on the log splitter. Yeah, there's definitely a difference in wood heat. Wood from furnace heat, there's definitely a difference. Figure that up here in a second. I probably ought to go put wood in. I keep that thing cranking. Yes. I mean, heck, it could be 70, and next thing you know, it's 78. Well, I'm probably going to finish up the live here a little bit. Yeah, Otter, man, we need to get a YouTube channel running. Let me guess, are you sitting in your recliner? No. He said no. Why don't if I, I bet was, Otter's in his recliner? However old you are, I probably wouldn't want to. I'm going to say he's 40, 45. Well, he sounds like he's in his 20s. He is reclining. Yeah, we used to run a humidifier, but sometimes, well, we used to. Yeah, Mizzou smoke, Nebraska. Yeah, it was from uh, Arkansas. My bad, Arkansas. Penny State. And Penny Michigan. State. Oh my gosh, wherever you want Penn to State. It. Penn State. And Michigan, Michigan the, State. Penn State is whooping them. 28-0. Michigan State is losing. Looks like they're not going to win. What is it? Almost done with the third quarter. 50 seconds left. Who is watching football? Oh. <laughs> Ain't nobody here. All the catches he is. What's your all's favorite thing to catch? When you roll up on a trap, and what what gets you all excited the most when you have what animal gets you the most excited in a trap? I'm not a lady. Have, Bobcat or me? That would be pretty cool to catch a bobcat. I was, I was gonna say red fox. That's probably my red favorite. Red fox, yeah, that would be pretty cool. That's probably my favorite. You Maybe know what would be cool to catch? A badger. Oh yeah, I was about to say badger's my second favorite. Actually, that's the first. Yeah, that or a badger or a bobcat would be mine. I'm gonna say a badger. Mountain, mountain lion. lion, yeah, that would be. Dang. Mom swears she saw a mountain lion when she was a kid, but. I don't believe that. 
Yeah, you know, the coyote would be cool. A mountain lion? There's no way. What's Otter Cat's favorite? Otter Cat, what's your favorite? Cause I know you. I don't know. What's your favorite, Otter? I know otter? your favorite. An otter. <laughs> probably. Probably it's probably an otter. Yeah, it's. Let me guess. It's an otter. I'm gonna otter guess. Bobcat. I'm gonna say it's gonna be a bobcat. Rip. No. One badger. That yeah. gray fox, PA trapping. Yeah, gray, gray fox, fox would be cool. I love the look of a, a gray fox. They're so pretty. My okay. favorite is a fox or mink. See, mine with get yeah, I probably like red fox. Red foxes are cool. Well, guys, I think we're gonna cut this one short. Oh, well, we no, not short. I guess it's hour. an hour and two minutes. Yeah. But we're gonna cut this one off, guys. And if you haven't watched our video we posted today earlier, go look at that. It's pretty cool. But well, we'll see you guys later. Have a great night.